Hello and welcome. Today's discussion is the dangers associated with mammograms. Mammograms were initially intended to provide a clearer image inside breast tissue to help diagnose and treat early stage breast cancer to prevent death, identifying the cancer and eradicating it before it became fatal. Many of us believe that mammograms are a safe screening technique used to diagnose and help us identify early stage breast cancer, just as we believe that asbestos was safe to use until it was proven otherwise, that's how we feel about mammograms. 30 years later, the facts no longer support the initial plan. In fact, study after study from around the world prove that mammography screening is not only dangerous, but it should be abandoned immediately. Here are the reasons. Mammograms cause cancer. Repeated compression mammograms contribute to the formation of breast cancer and tumors. Why? Because the soft tissue, glands, nerve endings, and blood vessels are crushed to the point of cellular damage and bruising tells us that this is occurring. Then the radiation required to create the mammogram image alters the damaged cell DNA. Overdiagnosis. In the United States, it is now estimated that persons diagnosed with tumors and breast cancer are overdiagnosed by 56 to 60%. That means that five out of every 10 women are being led to believe they have breast cancer when in fact a second opinion or at least a biopsy should be completed in order to determine if a treatable form of cancer exists prior to sending the person for immediate medical attention. Japan has already developed a new technology and they are in the process of abolishing mammograms. Switzerland is no longer instituting any new programs to examine women over the age of 50. The most alarming information uncovered by the reports, especially in Canada, is the amount of women who are overdiagnosed. That's the word they use when women are sent for surgery, chemotherapy, or radiation when they did not have any condition warranting that type of medical attention. So a benign tumor that would have never caused another health issue or became cancerous is being treated as if it already was. That statistic in the U.S. is 56% to 60% of women are overdiagnosed. I use the word misdiagnosed means that a tumor is not cancerous, but it's being medically treated as if it was cancerous with surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation for a tumor that required no treatment. Radiation. The risk associated with mammography are supposed to be explained to each person prior to a screening. If that was happening, people would know that a compression mammogram exceeds the radiation levels recorded per hour at the Fukushima nuclear plant in Japan the day after the reactor was damaged. The scientists and the reporters that were on the scene at the nuclear plant were dressed in full body personal protective equipment. 
So what are you given to wear during a mammogram? Oh yeah, you are given nothing but a gown. So only you will suffer the consequences of repeated mammogram radiation. Emotional anguish. Let's face it, the words you have cancer evokes immediate distress to the patient and everyone who cares about them. Cancer is simply a frightening diagnosis. You can hear the frustration in my voice, but these reports have been widely available since 2009. Banning compression mammograms is no different in my mind than banning vape juice products or removing Zantac or baby powder from pharmacy or supermarket shelves. Five out of every 10 people that we personally know who were treated for breast cancer did not require any treatment at all. No treatment, no treatment was required and they would not have any negative health repercussions from leaving a benign tumor alone. Can you even imagine having both of your breasts removed and going through that level of anguish and terror and the physical and emotional pain because you were overdiagnosed with breast cancer that did not exist. Financial hardship. Surgery, chemotherapy and radiation are expensive. Even with the very best health insurance, the financial strain is still overwhelming. The worst part of this entire scenario is that persons are talked into having treatment and are financially ruined over a cancer treatment plan that was not a valid health concern warranting any type of medical treatment or expense. The medical team got paid, but the patient suffered financial complications and may still be enduring financial ruin from an overdiagnosis. Generational prejudice. In the United States, persons are led to believe that if a family member had breast cancer, then they are more susceptible to forming breast cancer because it is inherited. So how does this deceitful rule apply when we are moving forward, knowing that 60% of breast cancer diagnoses were overdiagnosed and that breast cancer may not have truly existed in any family member ever? The good news. Japan has already developed a new technology to replace traditional and 3D mammography. It is a safer solution based on sonogram technology. And that is tremendous, great news. Less radiation, less compression, no more damage, and does not cause breast cancer. However, it will not eliminate the greed and human error associated with the over treatment and over diagnosis situation in the United States. What should I do now? What do you want to do? There is no urgency for you to get a mammogram. And if you feel a lump in your breast, opt for a biopsy. If the lump is cancerous, the possibility of that lump rupturing during compression mammography is a real danger and if it is cancerous it can spread the cancer. Look mammograms were never not from day one they were never intended to be an annual or even a biannual screening. If you are healthy please consider continuing to do your own self breast exams Breast cancer is still real, but its prevalence is horribly overstated. We live in the land of the free, and it's your choice what you want to do and what you want to believe is true. Please 
consider doing your research. Breast cancer can take a life. Continued exposure to the radiation and mammograms and the crush injury that you receive during the mammogram makes it a health hazard, not an appropriate health screening for healthy women and men. Look at some of the articles listed at the end of this video, then take your time to think about it. So if you got out of bed this morning, took a shower, drove to the office, and you felt wonderful, then receiving a breast cancer diagnosis only changes your perception of your health. You do not need to jump into immediate treatment. You can take some time and get a biopsy, go to another town or a larger hospital, and read your own reports. Like you are smarter than you think. It is a documented fact that 56 to 60% of all diagnoses do not require treatment. So why not take some time and find out for your own benefit and your children's future if indeed you have a cancer or other health threatening condition that seriously requires treatment. You have the power to challenge a diagnosis and what happens to you is ultimately your choice. Wishing you the very best. Please just think about it. The content of this video contains the author's opinions, observations, thoughts, conclusions, and serves as informational and educational material purposes only. It is not intended as medical advice, medical diagnosis, or medical treatment. The author is not prescribing medical treatment nor attempting to negate current medical treatment. Should viewers choose to follow any of the author's recommendations without the supervision of a medical doctor, they are doing so at their own risk. Should viewers decide to implement any of this information in the video, they are solely responsible for any outcome. The statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. The products mentioned in the video are not intended to